today we review Kiesel's flagship headless model, the Vader. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm really excited today. Hope you're having a great day so far. My name is Daniel Townsend. I'm a local music instructor. I teach a bunch of different things. Uh, one of those things being guitar. And today we're here to talk about the Kiesel Vader. Okay, so before moving on, what I'm going to do is, down in the description, I'm going to post a price breakdown of all the different things that came on this guitar. So what I'll do is I'll post all the specs that either came free with the guitar without any price or what I ended up paying extra for and then kind of putting the total down at the bottom. So if you're curious about that, go ahead and go into the description to check that out while the video continues. All right guys, here's some close-up shots of the Kiesel Vader. So they call this the V6X. V standing for Vader, 6 for 6 string, X standing for the trem system on here. So I'm going to go through all of the specs on this guitar in particular and talk about each of them as we go. Let's start at the very top here at the uh, the lack of headstock, we'll say. Not a whole lot to say here, but it is kind of like a Floyd Rose where each string is locked down here at the uh, top of the guitar. Now let's actually turn it over and take a look at the back here on the neck. So the neck is one of my favorite parts on this guitar. Something I found that I really enjoy over the years are unfinished maple necks, or at least a satin neck. So I decided to go with a five piece neck here. So we have maple and walnut in the center there. And this has a tongue oiled neck finish. Now I gotta say this neck feels incredible. I can guarantee you're not about to ever stick on this neck. It's really easy to play up and down. It feels a lot like a satin neck. However, you can also feel the grain of the wood on the back of the neck, which I prefer, and it feels just incredible. Also, I love the feeling of the walnut so much that I might even spec out a guitar down the road with a complete walnut neck. I just really enjoy the look and the feel of walnut. Cool thing about the Vader is that it's a neck through design, so this neck actually goes through the entire body. In fact, you can see really close here the uh, skunk stripes and the maple wood going through the body. Okay, so let's flip this over and look at the fretboard. So what we have here is an entirely ebony fretboard with stainless steel frets. Now on the Kiesel website, you have a couple different options for ebony. You have just a standard ebony. You also have a less color variation ebony, which is what I went with. And you can tell there's really no color variation at all. This is a nice dark piece of wood through and through, and I really enjoy that. And there's also royal ebony, which looks a whole lot different than this. As far as the fret job goes, they did a great job on the frets. And obviously the stainless steel is uh, just killing to play on it's really smooth you're not going to get any grindiness on this everything about this guitar has a lot of smoothness to it the inlays on the fretboard are called staggered offset dot inlays uh, mother of pearl inlays you got the luminlay side dots on the side of the guitar as well which can be really cool if you're on stage in kind of a dark room to be honest though i've never really experienced the full benefit of these yet but i'm sure for some people this is a must-have and these come standard with the guitar as well. Okay, now my favorite part of this guitar by far is the body. So this body is an entirely walnut body. And the finish on here is what they call a raw tone ultra thin satin finish. And this just turned out incredible. 
Now, as far as getting the grain of the wood to come out, they usually recommend doing a swamp ash body, and that tends to really showcase the uh, sort of grain pattern on the body. But I went ahead and called Kiesel and asked what it might look like if I decided to go for walnut instead, you know, and they were honest with me, which I really appreciated. They said, hey, I'm not sure if that's gonna turn out. It might. But anyway, I decided to take the chance because I figured that walnut would show a decent grain and sure enough, it showed a beautiful little grain pattern here. And I really dig the way this turned out. It looks incredible. And the color of the finish is called White White. We've got a black Kiesel logo right here next to the upper frets. And we also have white lithium pickups. Coming down here, we have a volume knob and a tone knob and a five-way selector switch so that you can get the split coils along with the humbuckers. And now last but not least, we've got the trem system down here. So this is a Kiesel and Hipshot designed tremolo system. And I gotta say, I really, really, really enjoy this and I'm glad that I decided to put this on the guitar. I would put it somewhere between a Floyd Rose system and like a Strat trim. What I really like about it is that it's really comfortable to lay the palm on, which I find really important on uh, guitar tremolo systems. So laying your palm on this is super comfortable. There's no sharp points at all. And the way this kind of slopes down really helps with getting the correct angle on the string. It really works beautifully. This also came with a really nice soft case. I'll showcase it right now. Um, there's no reason for you to order a hard shell case, maybe I, I really can't think of a reason to. <laughs> One last thing about the Vader that's pretty interesting is you have two knobs down here, uh, strap buttons I should say, and what's cool about that is you can set it up next to your amp or maybe next to a wall, so it kind of acts like its own stand. Basically, this is almost an entirely walnut guitar actually, so it's all walnut body with the walnut striping and then the maple neck. So really it's all walnut aside from a little bit of maple on the back here and then the ebony on the fretboard. Now let's talk about pickups. So the pickups are kind of the standard ones that would normally come with this, which are the lithium pickups. Now I've heard a lot of people complain about these pickups. The complaint is this, that they're too bright and they're kind of piercing and uh, yeah, it, it can kind of hurt. So my experience thus far has not been that way at all. Um, I've used this guitar on jazz gigs, believe it or not. I've used it uh, for a lot of rock and roll. I've used it for obviously metal, which is kind of its main purpose. And I think that's, you know, what they have in mind when building this guitar. But I'll tell you this, I don't think the pickups are too bright. Um, they are on the brighter side because they're obviously much higher output. And yeah, they, they have a lot of treble in them, but that doesn't mean you can't adjust uh, your gear to accommodate that. With any different pickup you're gonna get, you're gonna have to make some accommodations. So I haven't found that to be an issue. I actually really enjoy the pickups thus far. So this is the Kiesel and Hipshot designed bridge system here. So, you know, it's kind of acting like a Floyd in that you can, um, in fact, let me grab the bar real quick. Okay, so my experience with this bridge has been incredible, I gotta say. So the first part, and we get a close up here, you can see that there's this sort of edge here on the side of the bridge where the palm would usually, you know, kind of rustle and bustle around. This is super nice. The, the feeling of placing the palm here feels really natural. There's nothing sharp that's going to hurt your hand in any way. Now, as far as the performance of the bridge itself, I would caution you using it in the same way that you might use a Floyd. You know, if you were to give this to Dime, uh, that, that might be a little sketchy. <laughs> But if you're to use it for more um, kind of nuanced playing, I think this is perfect. Think of it like a Strat bridge, kind of like a mix, somewhere in between having a Strat style bridge and a um, Floyd Rose style bridge. And you can do dive bombs and that sort of thing. It's not an issue on this guy. Now I will say it's kind of set up to be a little firm, which I actually prefer. Uh, it's not really easy to dive on. It takes a little bit of strength. Not that it's impossible by any means. And you can definitely give it some love and you won't have much issues there. Yeah, and there's not a lot of pull backward. So there's maybe, let's check it out. On the high E string, there's maybe a semitone that you can pull back on the bridge. Of course, you can dive it down all the way, but that's kind of what we're looking at. Okay, so not a lot of pull back necessarily, which is fine. But other than that, the bridge has been excellent. And restringing this thing 
at first it can be a little weird if you're not used to it, which, you know, I wasn't necessarily used to it. I've used the Floyd before and restrung those. Uh, this is way easier. Uh, really, restringing this is not time consuming at all, and it's pretty easy. It's actually kind of fun. Now let's talk about how it plays and kind of my experience overall. So uh, I want to start with the positives, which is, first of all, I think it sounds pretty killer. The bridge system is fantastic. It's exactly what I'd want out of this. The feel and the build is really impeccable. Like, there's really nothing I can point out that's wrong with this. And, you know, for the price that's being paid, I think that's fair to um, assume that you're going to get. Everything here is beautifully done. I haven't had any issues with the guitar whatsoever. I will say this. When I was recording some videos for one of the Kiesel solo contests, I broke an E string like twice in a row because I was really abusing the trem. I was uh, doing quite a strong flutter on the back at the beginning of the solo and after a while just took out the E string. So that's why you gotta be careful with the, the bridge system. Can't abuse it too hard. There's one benefit and also kind of a negative at the same time that I've found about this. That's the 20 inch radius neck. This is a pretty extreme radius. So uh, as far as guitar radiuses or radii goes, so the larger the number, the flatter the fretboard is going to be. So I don't think anyone makes something uh, flatter than 20 inch radius on electric guitars. But here's the thing about the flat uh, fretboard here is it actually really reminds me of playing on a classical guitar. Um, I have a flamenco guitar that I played for a little while and the necks feel pretty similar, you know? It's not quite spaced out the same way on the flamenco guitar. The strings are a little farther apart, but the fretboard feels really similar in that it's super flat. For shred, that's great. For bends, it can be tricky. So one thing that it took a while for me to get used to is how much effort it takes to bend up, usually like a whole step. So for example, you know, from here, so. You know, that takes a little more effort than it would on a like uh, 12 inch radius guitar. That's just what I've noticed. However, uh, for you know, legato runs or whatever you need to do. That works great. Another thing to talk about with this guitar is sort of the customer service of Kiesel and sort of the pricing. I think it's important for you guys to know what my experience was. As far as purchasing the guitar, you get the option at the beginning to put down a 20% deposit. So yeah, I put down the 20% deposit and then what they were going to do was charge the card the rest of the amount once the, uh, once the guitar shipped out to me. But you know, uh, after about, I think it was like nine or 10 weeks or so into the build, I decided I just wanted to pay off the rest. So it was really easy to do. I called the front desk and they uh, fixed it up for me. I sent them the rest of the payment and it was good to go. So while I didn't have to talk to a whole lot of people, uh, it went really smoothly each time I called them. So it was really great. So now what I'm gonna do is play some examples for you guys. I'm gonna have like a clean channel, a sort of mid gain channel, and then a high gain lead channel. Here we go.
does it show? Alright guys, so that's going to be it for the Kiesel review today. I had a blast doing this and hopefully you enjoyed it as well. If you did, go ahead and leave a like for me, I'd really appreciate that. And if you want to subscribe, go ahead and do that as well. Um, I do a lot of other different videos including music education, you know, guitar education, and also reaction videos which you can find over here. Also be sure to check out the description box to see all my social media and also to see the price breakdown of the Kiesel we reviewed today. All in all this guitar is fantastic, really no complaints from me, and I would say if you're interested in getting a really nicely American made guitar at a pretty decent price, if you can wait the uh, two to three months then it's absolutely worth checking Kiesel out. Also be sure to check their in stock, they have a lot of really cool guitars in stock that are discounted. Alright, I hope you have a great rest of the day guys, and I'll see you next time.